Hi guys and welcome to another Nexus 7 video. This video is about a new software update that's coming out for the Android operating system and it's going to hit Nexus 7 devices either now or in the next couple of days. I'm still waiting for the update to arrive on my Nexus 7 but some people have already reported that they're getting it and there are a number of significant improvements to the operating system which we're going to go through and I'm using uh, the phonearena.com who've put together a nice little slideshow of all the new features and that is what we're going to look at. Uh, so if we look at uh, all the new options there are, uh, I'm going to go through about 15 different options and I'll quickly look at each one. The first one is uh, quite an interesting one in that the 4.2 operating system now has widgets on the lock screen. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to work, I don't know if they'll be custom widgets or you have to go into a special screen to set up widgets. Uh, you could possibly put uh, emails on your lock screen or a news website or something. It depends how much security you want to use, but it's a, an interesting option to just make you look at the device without having to unlock it, uh, which is kind of brings it into line with maybe how you might use a phone. Uh, the second thing is that it's going to get a new, more tablet look, but this already exists on the Nexus 7 uh, with the fact that you have the dock at the bottom and the app drawer. So we can move it swiftly on from that one. Uh, another new feature is the ability to type using a gesture swipe action. That's where you run your finger across the keyboard. Uh, moving from one letter to the other. This feature is already available in third-party applications such as uh, an application called Swipe which I'm just going to highlight there in the top right hand corner. Uh, so it's nothing new in terms of uh, technology uh, but it is now integrated into the Jelly Bean operating system as a kind of standard feature. Uh, it's a, a nice way to type. If, it does take a while to get used to it and I'm still used to typing with my thumbs but it's a, a new and different way of being able to type and if you get good at it you can type very quickly with it. There's going to be some uh, quick settings uh, to adjust things such as brightness, setting, battery, airplay mode. But again, those are things that are, are already available available through third-party uh, widgets and so on. Uh, next thing is expandable notifications. Again, I think this has already been introduced in the Jelly Bean operating system uh, when we first got our Nexus 7s and the fact that you could in make uh, picture previews look bitter, bigger and uh, you've, I'm sure you've seen many times on my battery widgets widgets sorry the battery widget notification where if i drag it down it shows a graph of the uh, battery uh, so i don't think that's anything particularly new there looks as though there's going to be a, a gmail update although i must admit i'm not entirely sure what this means they've updated the text reflow i think it means that the text is now going to be um rescaled so that it fits properly uh, maybe you can use pinch to zoom that's what it seems to look like here um, the Play Store is going to be updated now with a Music Explorer, so it's getting more in line with the, the iTunes uh, Market Store. So, so far on Google Play, you can download applications, uh, television programs, books, movies, and now they're adding music support to that. Google Now is apparently going to improve. I must admit I don't use Google Now much at all. Um, it's now able to pick up uh, flight and hotel reservations. Not something I use too much. It's, uh, sounds like more of a, a business use, but um, it, nonetheless, it's new fe features and functionality, and you can never say no to them. This is the one that I'm most interested in now. Multi-user support. Uh, through all, So far, on all tablets and all devices, uh, there's never really been that simple option to have the ability to switch from one user account to another. Not so much important in phones, but definitely on tablets where you might have one in the household. You certainly want the ability to switch from one user to the other. Uh, a lot of the times, actually, when I'm using my tablet, I almost want to have a YouTube VGJ Felix type account so I can mess about with the um, pages a bit more, use custom launchers, have uh, icons in different areas. And sometimes it takes about five minutes to destroy my pages and in order to rebuild them after the videos. But in order, but this now really... Um, solves a problem and it sounds like it's going to be a very quick way of changing uh, from one user to the other by um, swiping down a notification uh, tray or something along those lines so that's a uh, one very interesting feature that i'm looking forward to testing uh, when it arrives on my nexus 7. Uh, photosphere 
Obviously, this is not going to mean much at all on the Nexus 7 since it doesn't have camera support until you download an application. So I don't think this Photosphere thing will be integrated into the Nexus 7. Uh, this one looks as if it's adding the ability to uh, transmit Wi-Fi from your device to a television that supports it um by what it looks to be called miracast again i'm going out of my comfort zone here and what i actually know about this does uh kind of offer a solution for people who have been a bit frustrated that they can't plug their nexus sevens into the television through an mhl cable um but it's going to be limited to televisions that presumably can support this type of wi-fi direct uh transfer so it's a bit of an improvement but unfortunately i'm not going to be able to test it because i don't have a television that supports it uh, there's going to be a new clock app, again a bit superfluous since there are so many uh, different apps available anyway. Uh, again, another type of feature that's available already if you download it. It's a day daydream screensaver and so it's going to take pictures presumably from your gallery or maybe you can access it from websites perhaps, but it's a feature that's already available elsewhere. Uh, some accessibility improvements. Apparently, if you uh, triple tap, it's going to do some sort of uh, magnifying and capabilities, which will be interesting. And uh, that's pretty much it. I've, I've almost sounded a bit downcast about that, but believe you me, I'm not. I'm, I'm looking forward to the um, two big features of widgets on the lock screen and multi-user accounts, uh, which I'll certainly test when those two options uh, become available. Uh, like I say, it will be hitting the uh, airwaves soon, if not already. Uh, one of my friends has uh, fortunately been able to download this update before me, which is highly frustrating since I am such a champion of an Nexus 7 cause, but hey-ho, uh, what do you know? So uh, keep checking your system updates to see when it arrives, and uh, enjoy it. Please um, leave your comments in this, and I will definitely do a video of the significant improvements when the uh, update arrives on my Nexus 7. So take care everyone and I'll see you again soon in another Nexus 7 video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you're hungry for more videos, subscribe. It's free after all.